guys, hope you're all doing well. So we recently have been doing a few loom animations and posting them on our Instagram. They have been getting pretty popular, so we decided to do a small loom tutorial for you guys that would bring it all back to the basics. Surprisingly, there's very little loom animations out there on YouTube, so we really hope this one helps you out. In this tutorial, we will be looking at the fundamental functions of each button. We also have a few fun small animations that will help you get the hang of animation on Loom. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So these spinning circles, they are called threads. In each animation, you can have a maximum of five threads. Each thread, you can also have up to 24 frames. You can also adjust the frame speed of each thread. Numbers are indicating the amount of frames that will play in a second. You can go from 32 to as low as 1. On the other side, you have controls like the opacity of your drawing, changing the color, line or fill options, as well as setting the width of your line. Here, the blending settings, which include things like alpha, additive, multiply, and invert. Next to this, you have the clipping mask, the onion skin, and the bookmark control. All of these controls are used to manipulate seeing past or future frames of your animation. The bookmark allows you to bookmark specific frames. On the left top corner, you have your standard controls like the eraser and go back function. To activate the pulley, just hold down on the screen. The pulley is the round dial that navigates time. Okay, so let's start our first animation and use the functions in practice. We are going to create something called the rainbow snake. First, I just changed the background color, but make sure you are in a line setting and red color. As you can see, moving from one frame to the next is pretty seamless. It's just a simple swipe down with your hand. Now press the play button to see how you have animated something in a matter of seconds. Next, just pause the video and duplicate your threads. Simply press the thread transform button at the bottom left hand corner and drag the threads to the right. This basically duplicates your entire animation five times. Now, just press and hold each thread and change its color and change it to the fill option. For the final step, press and hold each thread again and move between the frames to organize the bubbles to appear one after the other. The loom background is limitless, so you can expand and minimize your animation as much as you want. Next, it's animation in motion. To start with, I just added some frames into my thread. 15 is a good number to start with. I also just chose a bright green color and changed the fill mode. Now let's just animate. Just draw some crazy funky shapes. Play the animation to adjust the speed. I might slow this one down a little. Now pause and duplicate one thread, just like in the previous video. Now press and hold the thread you just duplicated. Press play, lower the opacity and change the color. While still holding down your thread, with your other hand, just drag and pinch the screen to separate the thread layers from each other. This creates a cool shadow effect. You can adjust the speed of each thread however you like. For this, I kept them the same. Next, add another thread. Press and hold and add another few frames. While holding the thread, make the line a little thicker and change the color. You just animated in motion. While holding the thread, you can adjust it while it is playing and change the opacity, thickness and color. While still holding the thread, change the speed to make this thread faster. Now, add another thread and try messing around with the settings and animate in motion again.
Duplicate your last thread and add in that cool shadow effect we created at the beginning. There are also four additional play modes. You can select between those by pressing and holding the thread. There is forward, backward, ping pong and random mode. To export your video, screen record your animation by pressing and holding thread transform and the circle next to the play button. To create a base layer to animate on, press and hold the thread and reduce the frames all the way down to 1. Press and hold the thread to edit the thread settings. Now just draw your base layer. For this video I will just draw a simple flower. Remember that each thread is limited to one colour, so to add the flower petals in red, add another thread and reduce the frames to one. To start animating, add another thread and increase the frames. Change the settings to a darker green and reduce thickness. Now you can animate your base layer. Keep adding threads and animating your base layer. You can even animate in motion and add in effects. Here I'm just duplicating the last thread to add that cool shadow effect to the petals. In the Loom settings, you can also access the user guide, which gives you some handy basic information on animating within the app. We also use this as a guide for our own video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If you have any questions, just leave us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content creation videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.